Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I'm here to talk to you guys about Grant Dawson versus Mark O. Madsen. And Mark O. Madsen is a plus 180 underdog. Grant Dawson, minus 230 favorite. He's 28 years old, Dawson, as opposed to 38 year old O. Madsen. Or Madsen, I don't know. And uh, Dawson is 18 and 1 overall. In the UFC, he's like 6 0 oh, 1 or something. So I guess he's 18, 1, and 1. But he might not be 6, 0, and 1. I don't know. But it's something like that. And the one, the one draw that he has is to Ricky Glenn. Ricky Glenn, formerly known as Rick Glenn. And it was a, what I, I thought it was a just draw. But I also thought Dawson was lucky to walk away with anything but a loss in that fight. Because... Uh, the way that round three went, he was just, he was lucky to survive, and in the end, I don't even know if he did survive, because uh, he might have been out, but nevertheless, he still got a perfect record inside the octagon, he's 18-1 and one overall in MMA, and of those 18 wins, 12 of them are via submission, and I want to say of those 12 submissions, maybe 10 of them are due to rear naked choke. This guy is a great top game fighter. Like, one of the best there is. He's better than O. Madsen or Madsen at top game, you know, with his top game. But the thing is, he may not have access to the top game in this fight because Madsen is a better wrestler. Madsen is an Olympic gold, uh, silver medalist. He's been taken down once by Vince Pichel. And it was really just when he was caught by surprise after being hit with some strikes. But he's going to be a really tough guy to take down and for Dawson to impose his game. And I think that makes this a unique matchup. You know, uh, Dawson is the one guy, I mean, the one thing he wouldn't want to run into theoretically is a guy with better wrestling. Although maybe better wrestling and better striking is the one guy he doesn't want to run into. But still, a guy with better wrestling is enough of a test here because Madsen is tough as all hell. He hasn't been put away, he hasn't been defeated. And we've seen him go to war, three-round wars, with a few good fighters at this point. Vince Pichel in his last one, and he did out-hustle Vince, although I thought Pichel kind of blew that fight in round three. But still, uh, Madsen out-hustled him, and Clay Guida as well. That was a really close fight, and a lot of standing in that fight. That was a, you know, a, almost a pure stand-up fight, but Madsen's down to throw down, and he's got good striking too. I mean... Maybe he doesn't have good striking, but it's good enough. He is a striker. He doesn't, uh, you know, turn away. He's able to, he's one of those guys that can take a body kick and not even grimace. He's a comfortable striker and he uses his hands well, even though he's not the biggest guy, the longest guy, but he uses them well as a means to an end, which is finding his way to inside on a takedown. And against Grant Dawson here, you know, Grant Dawson is not a, uh, He's not the best striker in the world either. I don't think uh, this is a battle between... Uh, e either one of them I don't think is a good striker. I think this is a battle between two of the lesser strikers in the division. And I do think that leaves room for Madsen to win this fight. Because even though Grant is a great grappler, much better submission grappler, Madsen has the wrestling advantage. So he's going to limit Dawson, theoretically, to the bottom game. And although Dawson does have a few triangles and different things... He's mainly a rear naked choke guy, as I said. And I just think on paper that's being eliminated. Although I will say this, the flip side to that coin is if Madsen is taken down, as he was by Vince Pichel at the end of round two, if he is taken down, Grant Dawson should finish him uh, almost immediately if he's able to hold him down. You know, a takedown and he gets right back up or whatever, that's nothing. But if Dawson has top control, I think he cuts through his guard and puts him away because it is exponential how quickly that becomes a problem for a guy that is an Olympic wrestler as opposed to guys that are, you know, comfortable, more comfortable fighting on their backs. So, uh, there's probably something to be said for Grant Dawson winning via submission here. I'm just, uh, you know, I, I'm not playing that. I've convinced myself from the second this matchup was made that it was a favorable matchup for Madsen, and now his odds come out and he's plus 180. I'm playing that. And, uh, of course, if I did have to give you a prediction method of victory, I'd say decision. He out-hustles him to a decision, but decision is plus 225. That's not worth it. I'd rather just play Madsen plus 180 and throw it in a few parlays as well. I think Madsen is... 
probably at a disadvantage at, on his feet. You know, if it is a four striking battle, I do think Grant Dawson, especially being a little bigger, is probably better than Madsen. But Madsen can throw, and again, his striking is a means to an end. I think, uh, you know, Madsen, without facing a big knockout threat like Grant Dawson, it will allow him more into a stand-up fight and able to use his wrestling, you know, use his striking to set up his wrestling and create more easy takedowns because he's a guy as good of a wrestler as he is it's not like every takedown comes easy for him or easily i should say but grant dawson plus 180 that's my play i mean i'm sorry uh marco madsen plus 180 that's my play i uh, and my prediction is he wins a decision so uh we'll see what happens like share subscribe all that wonderful horseshit and check out my other videos